Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Brian Timmons and today I want to talk about Friday the 13th Vengeance, which is a brand new Friday the 13th fan film that was just released this past Friday, Friday the 13th. Um, okay, so I have a love-hate relationship with this fan film. This is not a bad fan film by any means and if you guys have seen it, you guys know exactly what it is I'm talking about. Um, there are certain aspects of it that I don't like that I will cover uh, in a couple of minutes, but right now I want to talk about the two main things that I did really enjoy in this film, and it's the cinematography, uh, actually three things, the cinematography, Jason, and the kills. Because the cinematography, this for sure does not feel like a fan film. This is movie quality. I mean, I'm talking like everything from the shots uh, to the freaking the lighting to just everything that has to do with the behind the scenes stuff looks absolutely movie realistic. So this is not a fan film. This is to me a continuation of a Friday the 13th movie and it is. This is a sequel to Friday the 13th part six, Jason Lives, and it focuses on Tommy Jarvis's two daughters and they believe that he is out on a search looking for Jason Voorhees because he believes that Jason is back. And he is. Uh, and I'm gonna get into those characters in just a couple of, uh, in a couple minutes. But um, when it comes to now Jason, Jason looks awesome and he is awesome. Jason is completely badass in this movie. He is out and it's called vengeance for a reason, man. He is truly, truly out for, for some killing and it is real and it really shows because the kills, wow. If you guys have seen the movie, I don't want to spoil anything yet. I may do a spoiler review on it, but my gosh, the kills are freaking insane. I mean, okay, there's one I just want to talk about. A guy is drinking a water bottle. He's drinking a water bottle, like one of those like water bottles that are a little skinnier than uh, my beer uh, bottle here. But my gosh, man, he, he's drinking a freaking water bottle and Jason walks up to this guy and shoves it right through his head. What? <laughs> um, that That's absolutely crazy, man. And the kills were very creative. I think some of them were great. Um, and yeah, just those are the three things I really liked. Okay, so when it comes to the characters, I think that that's where I started to have my issues because I don't think that there was a whole lot of character building here. Like we find out from the main actress that she's Tommy Jarvis's daughter and she believes that he's back um, or that he's on this search for Jason because he thinks that he's back because there are deaths that's going on around Camp Crystal Lake and Tommy is out there looking for him. And I love that aspect of the movie, I love it. I think that's a really great concept, but I just don't think that there was any major character building leading up to that. Like I didn't necessarily care for her as much as I wanted to. And it makes me sad to say because I've, I love the concept of this movie, I really, really damn do. Um, and then I even like how Tom McLaughlin was actually one of the, uh, was the gravekeeper in the beginning. Love that because he was the director of Friday the 13th part six. So I think that's a really great uh, little Easter egg for a Friday the 13th fan uh, as well. Um, so the characters are something I had an issue with and it's really the whole dad thing. I, I didn't really understand that. I get that that was a creative choice that the director and the writer was trying to go with. But Jason's dad, I didn't think was a good way to go for this movie because almost every single scene with Jason's dad could have been cut out and it still would have been the same movie. There would be no difference at all in this movie, um, truly. And uh, I didn't like how they recreated their own version of the opening of the original Friday the 13th. And then it showed that Jason's dad killed Claudette and Barry. I feel like that, that takes away the whole opening and us thinking that it was Mrs. Voorhees. So again, that's a creative choice that was made by the director and the writer uh, and people that were executives on this movie. But at the same time, I didn't feel like it was necessary. I didn't feel the need to explore that because then it leads to an ending that, es that essentially builds to, to nothing. So... Um, yeah, I mean, overall, I, I'd say that this movie, that Friday the 13th Vengeance, it's a solid fan film, but it's not a great fan film. Um, but I did enjoy watching it. I enjoyed watching the kills. I enjoyed Jason. So overall, yeah, it's solid, but it's not great. So with that being said, guys, 
Post your guys' comments down below. Let me know, what did you guys think of Friday the 13th Vengeance? Have you guys seen the movie? Because if you guys haven't, I highly recommend going on to check it out because the filmmakers, man, you can tell that they put an absolute buttload of time into it and that is the one thing that I respect the most about this. This is a fan film. Now, whether or not I'm here loving it or hating on it, I'm not hating on it because I know how much work and I can see how much work went into making this. And for that, I completely respect the filmmakers behind it, especially because I'm currently writing and getting ready to do a Halloween fan film this year that I'm trying to produce up to this quality. So, you know, this is something that I'm working on right now and I know how hard it is. So I do respect the hell out of the filmmakers. Um, but you know what? It's not for me to say, like, I enjoy certain aspects of it. I just think that there are some things that could have been cut out that doesn't really change the story a lot. So leave your guys' comments in the comment section. I absolutely love to read them. And as always, if you guys like this, don't forget to join me on my journey to 5,000 subscribers, and I will see you guys in my next video.